the number one is to diagnose it early and treat it early. You have that a hole that has developed. And if there is not a lot, a lot of fluid under the retina, you can put a laser around the edge. Or you can put, you can freeze around it. So there are ways of taking care of that um, before you develop a retinal detachment. Um, patients whose eyes are on stretch may develop something that's called, uh, oh, no, no, I don't get the word. You have to stop this one. Lattice degeneration. So they get um, like scars or like changes in the peripheral retina. And right at the edge of that scarring, the retina can tear uh, and develop holes. Um, so it's unclear what you want to do for those things. Basically, watch a patient, instruct the patient about the problems so that they come in early, which is really the basic trick. If a patient comes in late and they say it will go away and, you know, tomorrow is going to be better and they have another eye and they ignore it and it just keeps going, um, it gets harder and harder to operate on it and to do something for it. You may have to cut out the gel inside the eye cut out the lens with it, uh, put maybe even a gas bab bubble in that's a gas that will expand with the heat of the body and inside the eye and, and push the retina to the outside. And probably most importantly, put a buckle around the eye and go back to buckling, a procedure that for many other patients just isn't necessary. If you get a retinal detachment in a child, and I have seen retinal detachments in the Marfan syndrome spontaneously as early as three years of age. A child will not complain. So they use the other eye. You know, the other eye will just be there and make up for it. And you often don't find a child until they have developed a retinal detachment in both eyes. And then the eye that had the detachment first is probably inoperable and you just don't get the retina back on or recover vision.